Hi, I'm Dave Johnson at North Star Imaging, and this is Insight. Last time we asked you to write in and tell us what you'd like to see scanned on the show. There was a great response with many products suggested, and today we're going to scan one of them. But before we get to that, let me introduce to you Cameron Lemmer, who is a sales applications and training specialist here at North Star Imaging. Hey Cameron, welcome. Hi Dave, and hi everyone. Special thanks to everyone who completed our voting poll. You gave us a lot of great ideas. So, what are we scanning today? Today we're scanning a sound card, which is a type of circuit board. I see. Now this is a type of sound card you'd find in your PC computer, right? Correct. This would attach to your PC's motherboard, which is an essential part of the computer. And on here you can see we have connectors where our speakers or a microphone would attach. Sure. Now if you're having problems with your audio, it'd be easy enough to replace this sound card with another one, right? True. But before you run out and buy a new board, let's take a closer look with computed tomography. <laughs> of course, that's why we're here. <laughs> so tell me, when you have to scan a part like this, which has multiple components, how do you detect where the potential problem could be? Well, generally the customer knows a specific area, and if they know a specific area, that helps us hone in on that area and bring in higher magnification and thus overall better resolution. But if a customer doesn't know where the problem lies, you have to scan the whole part, is that correct? Correct, again. Do you have an area of focus for this part? Yes, we do. It's somewhere in this area here. Right in here? Yep. And we'll do a 3D scan to see it from all angles, right? Correct, again. And we'll use the X3000, which is a good fit for the size of this part. And then that way we can take a closer look to see what's really going on. All right, let's do it. Cameron, I see you're using a vise to hold the sound card? Yeah, so the vise is here to hold this sturdy so we don't have any movement during the CT scan. That's very important because any movement would cause the scan to be faulty or bad. Okay. We're going to place the sound card inside the system. We're going to do our best to center the part. And then you turn on the x-ray, right? Correct. So x-rays are on. There it is. All right, so I'm rotating my part so we can see a more planar view of the image. We're interested in this area of the board. So now I'm gonna pull in my magnification, which increases my pixel representation and overall resolution. You're going right there, huh? Correct. We can start to see the bond wires here. Oh, yeah. And this chip is the area we're interested in, so we're gonna do a couple things here. So now we're gonna rotate this around 360 degrees, and we're gonna take a look and see if we're still staying on at this magnification. We're getting pretty close over here. So it looks like the full area of interest is staying on as we rotate around 360 degrees, so that's good. It's much better. Wow. So it's a real balancing act between all of these settings to get a nice, clean, sharp image. Correct. The techniquing portion, we call it, is a big portion of what we do at North Star, and it's uh, something we really take a lot of pride in, and we look to help our customers get to that same level. So if you had a much larger product, but your detector is small, how could you scan that whole product? We actually have another capability called mosaic scanning, where we can actually move the detector laterally and vertically so we're virtually making a larger detector by making those movements. And we'll just capture additional scans in those locations and automatically stitch them back together. So it's kind of like taking a panoramic image? Yeah, it's like a tiled image and stitching them together. Oh, that's cool. Let's let it finish up, and uh, once it's done, we'll take a look at the reconstruction. All right, let's go. All right, so what are we seeing here in this 3D reconstruction? Well, here we can see that the bond wires connect to the die in the center, mm -hmm. and it looks like some of these bond wires are damaged. Yeah, I can see the damage. So what could cause this kind of damage? It could be that there was too much electrical current applied to the circuit, which caused these bond wires to heat up. And if these bond wires heat up, they could potentially melt. So is this type of failure common with circuit boards? It can be, but generally we're looking for a conductive material that could be bridging connections. Mm -hmm. We're also looking at vias. Vias, what's a via? This is a via right here. Oh. 
You can see the layers of the board here. So you're connecting one layer to the next. I see, okay. Are there other things that can go wrong with the circuit board? There's literally thousands of things that could go wrong with the circuit board. Mm -hmm. And we can see most of or all of them with computed tomography. Wow, that's awesome. So what's the conclusion we can draw from this result? Well, this board here is damaged. Mm -hmm. uh, we can see the bond wires are melted and that would prevent this board from being used again. So in order for this soundboard to work properly, we'd have to replace the chip. Ah, time for a new soundboard is what you're saying. Sounds like it. Hmm. Well, thanks for the demonstration, Cameron, and for walking us through this. No problem, but we should really thank our viewers. Yeah, you're right. Thanks for watching and for suggesting this product application. This is just one of the many uses for product scanning here at North Star Imaging and how they can help in your R&D, product development, or QA process and testing. For more information, contact the Inspection Services Group here at North Star Imaging at xrayinspectionservice.com. So what are we going to scan next? Next up is 4D scanning. Oh, 4D. That sounds super cool, even though I have no idea what that is. <laughs> so what else can we see in there?